Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Christy, Dia? How are you guys on this? Hopefully, no stress Friday. No stress Friday. Let's see if this. Oh no. Hello, Marissa. Hey, Carrie. I'm having some issues with my receipt printer and this template. Not sure what's going on. Hey, Susan, how are you? Hello. Oh, nice. Hey, Cynthia. Hello. Happy Friday. Thanks for doing your haul, Janice. I enjoyed it. I'm eating. Should I try plugging the receipt printer into my computer? I can't have these little baby tickets. <laughs> Whoa. Chrissy said, I decided to go through every item I have, research it, donate it, or send it to throw it up. Everything? Wow. Then create brand new listings with new photos for the items I'm keeping. Wow. Jeez. Luckily, 70% of my current listings are pingers. <laughs> Same. Hey, Donna. Oh, my God. It's so funny when your camera's on. All right. Let me get my drink. So we went to a pre-yard sale, yard sale today. All the island fishing. Imagine. You said yard sale. Yeah. I think that's what it was. Where's my drink? I don't know. It was a state slash yard sale. Inside yard sale. <laughs> that's what we call it in Texas. Right? That, yes. How about now? Indoor yard sale and a state sale or still a yard sale? Because it's too hot. Aha! What'd you do? I hooked it up to my computer. Burn it down. <laughs> what the crazy military jacket or the uh, the dress that was hanging behind Amy? Okay. Um, I don't. We need to. I don't. I don't think we ended up listing it. We need to do some more research on it. I think that's what happened to it. But then again, ha! Huh, my memory is not the best. No, it's listed. Sorry. <laughs> we listed it on the 7th. Um, the brand is... What was the brand? Let me see. If you want to check out the pictures of it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Somebody's asking about that jacket, that military jacket. 
Oh, no, purple sleeve. Cynthia. She said she must have missed it getting listed. Like, where's the purple sleeve? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Finally. Yeah. I was just wondering because somebody else was asking, I think Jennifer was asking about the skull patch hanging off of that leather jacket. Donna says, I have sold 20 things to all resellers and why I'm being real cheap. Aren't we supposed to have a real people with real money? Why do you think we're resellers? Just confused. Hey, Melissa. We get those two, Donna. Type, um, here, I can... They probably see that you have low feedback. Is that wrong for me to say out loud? No. I mean, it's a thing that happens. Yeah. Probably trying to take advantage. Once you get a bunch of feedback, it won't. stops. There you go. There's the link for you if you want to check out the jacket. <laughs> Private pick. We didn't hear it like that. We should have heard it like that. Private pick. Never heard that? Nope. And our neighbors invited us. That was a private pick. Oh, okay. I think they just don't want to price everything. <laughs> so I felt... Our cost of goods wasn't very low. Not low, like, like $3 like it normally is. What was it, like 10 or something? It was like 10 right? Something like that. 9 or 10 Yeah. So we haven't fin figured it all out yet. But it was it was not, like, as cheap as we normally shop. Right. But you're right. We did get to pick what we win. So it was good. And they did make us a deal. I think they made, I don't know what they're going to price stuff at. I think they made us a deal. I think so. There are a bunch of Eileen Fisher. It's hanging behind me. <laughs> they just knew that we sold Eileen Fisher primarily. They're like, my mom has a lot of Eileen Fisher, and so we went over. Some of it's new with tag. That was good. All of this. They're on. You can have some. I don't want any of Okay, can you seal them so I don't keep them? <laughs> Anyway, and then we went to an estate sale today that had a bunch of Y2K stuff, like legit, but I don't know anything about it. I just knew that it felt old to me because I would have worn it in college, hmm. but I'm sure some of it was worth money. So we might go back tomorrow because it'll be 50% off day right. and try Seems to figure yeah. out, I have some time to research tonight and try to figure out like what's worth money. It's hard to know. Yeah. There was a lot of Ed Hardy. There was a lot of juicy. We did get two juicy um, velour jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. Jumpsuit? Uh, track suits. Tra yeah. Well, which I know are worth money. But there were juicy t shirts. And then there was Abercrombie t shirt. There was a ton of all this like Y2K stuff. I guess somebody had. It felt to me like somebody went to college and left all their stuff there. Like me. <laughs> left all their stuff at their parents' house. That's what the estate stuff felt like. And so I don't know what's worth anything, like, actually. I don't want to pick up a bunch of pingers. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Huh. Tommy is trolling me right now. Oh, so, like, normal. Okay, great. <laughs> he said, Play-Doh's 90% off tomorrow. See, this is where we made our first mistake as resellers. We fell into that trap. Ed Hardy hats. There were hats and belts at Hardy, but they were priced it, up today. They were, yeah. If the hats are still there tomorrow, well, I'll, I'll think about grabbing them. They had some, like, really ornate sunglasses and with the cases as well. And the belts were 30 I wasn't going to pay 30 Yeah. Wait, you found almonds? These are pistachios. If they had almonds, I would be way happier. Because almonds are lower carbs. Yes, but I think there was something in the salt and vinegar almonds. There's dairy, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I think I think so. Yeah. There, there's something hiding in them. Yeah, there was no men's. It was just women's at this estate so we went to. I know about those um, Abercrombie uh, camo cargo shorts, but they're $100. Yeah. I know about those. Yeah. 
There was nothing. There was no menswear at all at this estate, so it was very strange. There was like a couple of dress shirts, and that's it. Yeah, but the <laughs> the dude must have like peaced out because it was all women's wear and um, younger women's. Mm-hmm. You think they got a divorce, or he died, or she died? Somebody died. I don't know. Something. Do you guys make up stories for estate sales? Because we do. In this one, I think the husband left, and he took all his clothes with him. Should we just like start? Yeah, it's just. You trying to do a mannequin? Cause you don't have a mannequin. No, I think I'm trying to. I think the majority is like all this stuff. I think we can like flat lay, like this chunk you right have here. A flat laid. Not yet. I'm just trying to. I'm looking. Baby What's fat. No, we got these. Uh, where's that juicy? Baby that fat. Juicy. Um... We sold. I sold a. We sold a baby fat. What was that? Like a perfume set gift set one time mm-hmm. baby got perfumes as well and then we got a couple of cosmetics at the place so that was good i love buying this continued beauty health and beauty okay there's all sorts of we've been trying to get better about going to estate sales because i really do think you can get good some stuff there good stuff there so we went today we went to two one was not so good but there was a bunch of duck decoys there <laughs> Which we don't know a lot about, except that we sold one one time. These oh, were not as good as the one we sold. Good old Bob. I That's all we I, know. I hope he's still enjoying that thing. I know. But I really should learn about them because this guy had a bunch. and But they were all priced at $95. Yeah, that'd be pretty expensive. And we're like, mm, but maybe on a 50% off day, you could strike a deal. I don't know. Not really any meat on the bone at $95. Meat on the bone. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Oh, just put that anywhere. It's cool, man. My phone doesn't have a case anymore because Dan stole it. <laughs> Everyone's like, Bob. <laughs> we gotta go get new phones. You wanna do that tomorrow? No, we have to go to a state sale now. I'm yeah, they, yeah, maybe. Cool. they were priced at $95. I know, so we were like, no, we to get those. <laughs> and then I looked around that house. We ended up getting some costume design binders. I guess this lady was in film. So I got some binders. Just for like nostalgia purposes, we didn't really get anything at this estate sale. And then we went to the next one. It had all the white two K stuff. We got the juicy couture. I don't know. You want to grab it? No, it's fine. Okay. We got two juicy couture, and then it's a mystery. You'll have to stay tuned. Ha ha. Something Missoni. There was something like Missoni. Missoni jeans. I don't know. Got a couple things there. But we're going to go back tomorrow because a lot of places are 50% off tomorrow and then there's some new ones starting tomorrow. Is this yours? It is mine. Okay. <laughs> I believe it's a pinger. Pinger! We're not going to start off with a pinger. No. Not doing it. Did I get the stains out of this? No. Got a few stains. I still think we should list it. Nothing a little bleach can't cure, right? No, no. This has already been... Already had been done? Yeah, it must have been worse. Right. This came out the laundry. All right. So, do you think I could pay someone to do stain treatment? Because we have a lot of things that need stain treatment. I would pay. What? I was going to ask if you think it's too wrinkly. It's very wrinkly. Yes, but then I said... Dudes don't don't care. Dudes don't care. Hashtag. Hashtag. Dudes don't care. Dudes don't care. Especially TCU dudes. Corn frog dudes. Corn frog dudes. Even on my screen. Sure. All right. Here we go. We're going to start listing. We're going to get stuff done tonight. The logo on a summer comfort isn't as paramount, but here's one for 25. I'm just, what size is this one? Large. 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 I'm just going to copy this listing because it's the same. I'm trying to make this thing look simple. Do you (laughs) use Mercari labels? Yeah, I need you to give me a little more information. Shipping labels. We do print our labels from a car. We have to go through a freaking rigmarole to print them, if that's what you're asking. There's apparently software on the Dymo and Rolo that you can use to clip and print, but we use Adobe Acrobat. 
Pro. Stupid. Why doesn't Mark Car even get with it? Right? Come on, man. Format your labels for a 4x6, people. Or are you shipping on your own? We have the buyer paper in Macari now. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> and can you bribe yourself, girl? I know you don't. <laughs> and um, we normally ship that like smart post if it's over a pound and then just regular first class if it's under, but they pay. I'm done with free shipping on all platforms. I don't care. She's coming in about time. Come on, Christy. You need to come around. We only sell one thing a day. Still ramping up. We're trying. Yeah, right. That's why I always ship on my own. Can just copy and paste address in a prior ship. But do you do free shipping then? I don't know how Mercari works. I very rarely can even function on Mercari. What's the number? 5596. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are you saying? Uh oh. Probably we're about to run out of legal. Hi, Celeste. Alright, we're good. A little bit. It was in video mode and wrong facing camera. Oh. Did you look like an alien? I did. I was like, whoa. Oh, whoa. <laughs> uh, Macari is a tough sell for us as well. We basically have stopped using it. I do cross list over there and we're selling one thing a day now. So I guess. Doing something. There are a few small spots of discoloration. Uh -oh. I mean, are you going to take a picture? I'll try to. Did it look rough? <laughs> On the hair, it's not. Why don't you just stick it? I can't. It doesn't. Oh, it's slippery. It's like slicky. To some slicky. <laughs> slicky. It slides right it's off. Slicky. I don't know what I was trying to say. That's just how that came out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just slicky. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. In it. In it. Slicky. In it. It's slicky. In it. <laughs> Like way, like way down now. There's no way I can take a picture of this. You can just try. <laughs> Pricing it twenty six ninety five. Y'all, I was already listening to something today, and it was nineteen hundred dollars and ninety five cents. <laughs> oh, and that's why I didn't sell. What was it? I don't know, some plush or something. I was like, oh. <laughs> Yes. It was a horse. Oh, that's amazing. A horse plush. I was like, oh, wrong. Okay. Could you imagine if somebody bought it? I know. <laughs> like, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Y'all price all your plush at two thousand dollars. <laughs> it works. I could hear us saying that. I know. <laughs> yeah, all my Mercari labels come out like dance tickets came out today. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, that would not work. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't price to the moon, Tommy. That's not fair. I price to, like, the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I do overprice. You're right. Unless I'm trying to, like, I have two modes. One is overprice, take a sale. I mean, make a sale, and then I take off. Okay. Okay. Overpriced, have a sale, and then take off. There you go. But my other thing is like when I want to beat someone, when they have like an eight quantity of something, I'll price right under them, and I'm like, I'll get you. <laughs> I only have two modes, nothing in the middle. Tommy said, if I ever got banned on eBay and was not making good money panhandling, I'd think about it again. <laughs> I think Mercari's got a certain je ne sais pas about it. Like, 
bought two things on Mercari recently. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I bought a concealer and some makeup samples. I don't know what that says about Mercari, but I couldn't find them on Poshmark. <laughs> And I didn't want to pay six dollars shipping on Poshmark and only pay three seventy two on Macari. So, so maybe go. lightweight little itty bitty sell on Macari. Bought two makeups on Macari this week. And the accounts in my name, so games. everything comes addressed to me. I'm like, what is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tommy said Ray Dunn and video games are killing it on Macari. Really? I don't really sell either of those. I did is our yeah, over, over there, man. I'm my teapot. I do have that a little bit overpriced. Right. I'm for no, the no nibbles? Nothing? No nibs. I'm waiting for Christmas on that one. Yeah. Christmas and Hanukkah. It's going to come through. Coming Somebody's going to be like, through. I need a good gift. My wife would kill for this teapot. Yes. I love that vacation room sort of thing. <laughs> Get your wife to do it, Tommy. Doesn't she crossless all your things? Just get her to crossless one more. She'll be good. I don't even know your wife, but I think she'll be good. She'll be aight. Celeste gets a couple of sales there every day. What are, you, what are you selling? You don't have to share if you don't want to. I'm just being nosy. I mean, we sold a hat today and something yesterday. What did we sell yesterday? So random things there. Oh, uh, that moth. Oh, yeah. I, I think I cross posted. No predicting what we're going to sell over there. You know what, though? When I Google stuff, I never see Mercari listings come up. Ever. It's true. When I Google Lens stuff, I do. Oh, um, I wonder why it's mm -hmm. different. Yeah. <laughs> Shorty brags about her sales on Poshmark to me that she doesn't do anything but copy. I can't take much more. Nah, she just has to copy into Mercari now. It's just as simple. Well, she's in this perfectly. Same thing. Mercari now has, like, you know, longer characters in the title. You don't have to change anything. Nothing. <laughs> you gonna list it? Uh, should we? Yeah. Might as well. I mean, I can't wear it. Pingers. Welcome to Pinger Friday. We're your host. I don't want to. No. Just list, list it. it. Why are you going to hang it back up? What are we going to do with it? You yeah. bought it. You bought it. You bought it. No, you bought it. Well, I showed it to you and then you bought it. Okay. Couldn't leave it there. Can't leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> you were not able to leave it there. It's Big Tom Callahan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Can I spell? Please? Well, there's a hole in it. Perfect. It's even better, right? Yeah, there's a hole. Just take it. <laughs> Great place for expired makeup and cleaning products. Amen, sister. That's what I just bought. I bought both. They don't care. Right? Mm, I didn't care. And the nail polish too. They don't care. You're supposed to ship it ground. They don't care. You feel? Yeah. <laughs> you get the Macari label. You like? Okay. Can change it. We're gonna do. Yeah. Big Tom Callahan. All right, let's Callahan see. Callahan Auto, Sandusky, Ohio. Let's see if it's actually a pinger. Yeah, it might be. Okay, these are all green. Uh oh, rare. Rare. <laughs> rare colorway. Yeah, I never see Mercari or Pinterest anymore in results. I saw Pinterest today, but I normally don't as well. I mean, that's good. I'm sick of seeing that. I never see Mercari. What size is this thing? Uh, I'm not sure. I this might be large. the ultimate pinger, $4.99. Oh my God. Can we just not, you know, just, it's got a hole too. All right, just go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not gonna even. I mean, it's cute and all, but. There's trash bags around the corner for Goodwills. <laughs> <laughs> We ain't gonna waste time on that. No. All right. What oh, is... I gotta look this up. I found this one time. Let's see if it even drops. You might need to turn it up. There's like a little snag. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, just looking at that. Oh. 
We the free long sleeve Megs up all night Henley teapot now. This is intimately free people. This will pop in awesome. So what do you want me to do with this? Yeah, just try it. Dang, I don't have a drop for this. Ugh. Oh, this is hard to look up. I'm third tomorrow. I hope to do better than yesterday. Thinking about those eleven Hickey Freeman suits. If they're still there, I just don't know if they're any good. If it's two-piece suits, that's better than just sport coats. Um, For sure. But, I mean, I, I wouldn't pay more than, like, what, eight, eight nine bucks a piece for them. If they're uh, Loro Piano Tasmanian, that makes them much better. Mm -hmm. I already looked this up so many times. Nothing comes up. Can you Google image it? Yeah, I'm just trying to make a little more trims here and there. Trim it. <laughs> Pingers are us. Friday night. How can we help you? <laughs> we have so many non pingers behind us, and we're listening to pingers. Didn't we just talk about not doing that? We did. But we got to like it process that's the first. Mm -hmm. I do. <sighs> hey, Kyle. She says they'd be under eight. If they're full suits, I would try it. We know this guy that works for the State Department, that's all I'll say, but a pretty high up job in the State Department, and all he wears are Hickey Freeman suits from eBay, and so do all of his colleagues. And so we're like, okay. Noted. Yep. So. No one has the name of this, but it is here. Macari coming up. I'm just putting it out there. Why doesn't it come up in Google? Is it going to come up as a star? I don't read that tag at all. <laughs> 45 years later. What? Nothing. Tell me you don't know the style, but you have the stock photo. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Make me crazy. What's happening? Mm, Pingerville. No, like my phone is acting really weird. Pretty sure this Curry, three people lace top. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's what I think. Poshmark infinity, three people gray lace, long sleeve, so sixteen dollars on Poshmark. No one has a Marfil. What doesn't make any sense? No sense. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. Eileen Fisher top. Oh, yeah. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Yeah. We have not done any Bonanza. I'm sorry. We really need to sign up for Bonanza. If it's just like free, you know, free sales. I don't do anything. I like that. I'm all about the free sales. Then we get a different 1099 or whatever it's called. That's kind of lame. 
I got like three of them, four of them floating around already. It's not really our deal, though. Mm -hmm. We don't have to deal with it. <clears throat> Oh, that's interesting. What? Tommy said he was messing around with Google the other day for a while. There was a crap ton of items that were first in result with non-white backgrounds. None were Google shopping, though. Hmm. What to do with this information, you're telling me. Non-white, huh? We've always heard for our whole lives the like, need you know, white background for Google to pick it up. Uh, okay. Apparently not, huh? Maybe not. I do not know. I cannot find this item. It is like even. I think. It's I know it's a finger, but like I wanted to put something <laughs> while you're taking pictures. I'm trying yeah. to find something. You put in a great effort. I really did. <laughs> it's a Google images and everything. What um size is it? Small. Oh, rare. Get away. <laughs> Get away. listen close faster. I know we keep saying that, but we're really trying. We're trying. Not a tunic. Not a tunic. It's not a tunic. <laughs> God. Oh, man, that was funny. Pictures? Yep. Send them on over. Playing with Can't Leave the Thrift till I find Eileen. So far, it's been working out. I love it. <laughs> I am really not going to lie to you guys. We bought like 40 pieces today. No, maybe not 40. How many think we bought? Of Eileen. Close to it. Close to 40 pieces. You want to list this now? Sure. I need your help to do it. Oh, no, I'm done. <laughs> oh, they should have a style on the bed. Yeah, tree fit. <laughs> <laughs> Taking everything I have question. to resist. A what question? A good question. Okay. What was what did you call this long sleeve? What? Boho. Boho. Call it boho. Boho. Mm -hmm. Tell me the whole Nasca. Yeah. Offering free advice on our lives anytime. Right. Telly Stoop, sorry I was late. <laughs> Nobody's never late. late. Is he hitting that like button, y'all? Yeah, you're so sweet. We love you so much. That's what we feel like. Say to our cats all the time. We love you so much. <laughs> oh. Come on. 
when you do a little skinny skinny, maybe a fat in the stock. You just list it. You don't care. Dan does not steam a thing. He didn't care. There was also a lot of soft surroundings at the garage estate sale. Should we pick it up next time? I just don't know. Is soft surroundings worth it? I mean, it's kind of paying up, right? Yeah. It feels like paying up. Compared to the thrift on half off day. Which is where we get 90% of our things. Bruh. Excuse me, bruh. What? Why you drops? Cork in it. Standing on it. Give me a wireless situation. Charge your phone. We need to get a phone charge. I did. It was almost full when I came in here. Really? Yes. This girl on Instagram, she like posts her progress and she's like, how many more pictures do you think I can do before my phone dies? <laughs> I'm like, bro, just get a cord. Sorry, y'all. I know you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but in my head, every time I'm like, why don't you just get a 10 foot cord like we have and you can step all over it. Be fine. Why doesn't she just get a cord? <laughs> She's probably in here lurking. Why don't you just get a cord? Get a cord! <laughs> I'm not trying to be nasty. Or ugly, as they say in the South. Mom would be like, you don't need to be ugly. <laughs> 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 it's true. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> Come on, Eileen. Let's go. Let's go. I think Eileen Fisher might be a Texas thing because I didn't find it before in Virginia ever. And then in Texas, it's kind of like, damn, like, it's the rich wife uniform. I was like, you right? Might be a Texas thing, so don't be too hard on yourself. Is there a style number up in this you want to try to give me? Stand struggling by, over here. I'm struggling. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ready? Oh, yes. 2 AF. Zero oh. eight. That's it. That's it. It's one hundred percent modal. Modal. You know what we don't find in Texas? Hokas. What? We find them once. Very many. No, oh, people don't run here. It's too hot. <laughs> it is too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I live where the Eileen goes to die, South Florida. Lord. <laughs> you said it, not me. I don't know what size it is. Oh, perfect. A great thing to be listening right now. I don't know what the style is. Okay. 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 Perfect. Perfect. So we got no size, no style. And I'm supposed to list this. Got it. Uh, there's this thing on on one of my groups the other day that was saying that George, no, I'm not joking. I'm saying this with full transparency and honesty, <laughs> that George is an upper high end brand of Walmart, and that not all WalMarts have George, and it's highly sought after and plus sizes. I do not pick up George and plus sizes, but take what I'm saying. If you do, maybe George is your ish, and you just don't know it. <laughs> Maybe comp it. I do not comp it. <laughs> but maybe my trash is your treasure. You never know. Maybe I'm missing out. 
somebody in a group said it, and they were like, I make my living off of selling plus size George. What? Who am I to say? Right. I don't know what they do. I cannot find them. Yeah, comp it and see because it might be like an untapped resource. I'm not gonna tap it, so I'll tell you all about it. I didn't say it, somebody else said it. But it might be worth it. And they said that people know what size they wear in George, and so they're willing to like between twenty and thirty and people are saying they sell it at high volumes because it goes on sale. If your Walmart carries George, it's worth comping it for sure. I didn't know that all Walmarts didn't carry George. So higher end, you know. So if your Walmart carries like suits and stuff and like dress pants, it will probably carry George, but not all Walmarts do. I did not know that. Are you okay? Um, what me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're like having an issue. Girl, I cannot list this item. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And it's all wrinkly. <laughs> what, what would you want me to do? You want me to like just take it out and get rid of it and we'll move no, on to something else? No. Oh, okay. But what did the neck look like? It was like cut down like that. Okay, can you can you see if it's like this? What it was? It was like this. It's sort of like this, but this isn't exactly the same. What was the hem like? What? It doesn't have to be exactly the same. I to describe what was it. Him? Like, it was, mm. it was, uh, it's not, everyone has this one, it's not this one. It's not. Yes, please help a sister out. Speaking of helping a sister out, I would love to to thank you guys for helping Hope out. A lot of people in the GoFundMe are from this chat and from our group, and I am eternally thankful for you spending your hard-earned money to help her in her time of need, many of you who don't even really know her. I think that speaks very highly of your character, and it makes me know her. Thank you. There are some people in here that watch both of our channels, but there are other people that messaged me and said that they didn't, but they donated. And I looked, and a lot of you did. And it's so sweet. Beyond sweet, beyond the notion, it's so freaking helpful. I can't even imagine going through that without any kind of income to back you up, you know? And with reselling... What you put in is what you get out, which is what we say each other. But when you have cancer, how much can you put in? Right? I found something that's fine. Yeah, it's not, it's not, nothing's coming out. The only thing that came up was a Poshmark listing. It said embroidered boho top. Oh my gosh, Kristen finished her death pile. Very awesome. We love Hope very much too. Um, what's the size? I don't know. Okay, what? You measure 22 in the chest. Measure. Pitch if it was 18, and this is a medium. 19 would it be a large. Oh. 20. It's like a 2X. Maybe it was a 2X. Are you sure it measured that? Positive. Oh, what's the number? Five five nine eight. Um, so as you guys know, our YouTube channel is like, okay, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is. Tell you lost the last two episodes. So our YouTube channel is pretty specific. Like, if you're not on the level, and I don't mean that in a a way. Yeah. We're like a certain kind of people, and that's why our YouTube channel is never like blown up. We're we're just like who we are, and you either like it or you don't, right? 
<laughs> so like one percent of people like it and then they subscribe so it's a slow grow it's fun hope is exactly on the level like she gets us she has from day one she was one of our first subscribers like within the first 20 subscribers and she watched our videos and she commented and we talked to her a lot and her youtube and instagram are racks to riches and she used to have a live show on Sundays called The Sunday Sip, which a lot of resellers watched, including us. And she mentioned our channel when we were like, baby channel. I mean, like. Like maybe 100 subscribers. Yeah, like it was like crazy. <laughs> we were not even anywhere close to monetized. And she mentioned our channel and we got monetized because she mentioned us and people trusted her recommendations. And so it was really nice. And ever since then, we've been friends. And she was trying to have us on the sip. And everything kept, like, messing up that we never got to, like, do that. And anyway, she is 37 years old with kids and a family and everything. And she just got diagnosed with breast cancer. And so she's a pool nurse, meaning that she doesn't get PTO or anything like that. So she's going to have to take a couple months off work to get a mastectomy and to get her cancer handled. And anyway, so we're trying to raise money for her because she's a reseller and a pool nurse and neither of those have PTO. So she's she needs time to rest and recuperate and recover and beat cancer. And so we're trying to raise money for her. Like I'm in the, the reason I feel this is I love Hope because she really, really has been there for us since the beginning. But also I'm in the same position. If that happened to me, we would be struggling. So I'm just like, I was just letting everyone know that they had to go fund me. And like, if you had any $5 or anything, like go over there and donate it. Because if anybody needs it, she does. And a lot of people do tithing and that kind of thing, especially on our channel. And I was just like, if you all have it in your hearts or in your abilities, go over and donate. That's what I've been saying on our videos. So, and a lot of people did. And I'm just really thankful for that. Not everybody has the means to do that, which is totally fine. But if you do and you're looking for somewhere to donate, you know, if you're just like a regular charitable person, that's a really good thing that maybe you didn't know existed and she really needs it. So we have it linked in our uh, YouTube channel and all of our videos. It's on our Instagram, the GoFundMe campaign. She also has a Buy Me a Coffee. It's linked on our other channel. Yeah, on the other channel. And, and if you don't have the means, the other thing you can do, and I keep meaning to mention this, is just like when you're sleeping, put her channel on autoplay on your computer and just play her channel throughout the night so she gets more views and watch time because she gets she's monetized on youtube so she could get money that way as well and then you don't have to come out of pocket with anything and so we've been telling people that they could do that as well i haven't been meaning to say it on the video but i haven't great idea yeah and we should do it too we will I just feel like when something like that happens to the reselling community, we all have to come together because we don't have anybody else. You don't have like a union or a... <laughs> nobody's going to like support you. We have this little great community. So it's, it was really nice scrolling through the people that I donated and seeing so many familiar names. I was just like, ah, oh, our people are coming through. Even if it was just $5, you know, it's like, yeah. that helps so much in the grand scheme of things, because then it pushes out the GoFundMe even more and people see people they know and then they're more encouraged to donate and it was just really great. I couldn't believe how many people from our lives particularly had donated. I was just like, yeah, that's great. That's fantastic. I don't push stuff on people ever. I'm ready for pictures. I really don't. I try not to be like, go fund this person's... You know how people have weird GoFundMes. This is like life or death GoFundMe, so... I felt, you know, the calling to say something, even though we don't have as many. She has more followers than we do, so hopefully they are coming to the call as well. And if you want to subscribe to her YouTube channel, it's pretty good. She does really cool hauls and interviews and stuff like that. She's got a good channel. I think that has like eight or 10,000 followers, so that's good. Now, 
not subscribe if she needs stock. I will ship her some bangers in a box <laughs> whenever she might want. What a great group. That'd be great. I don't think she has the energy or wherewithal to list right now, but maybe soon she will. It's called Racks to Riches. Can you write it yeah. maybe in the comments? Yep. Yeah. Nightlight YouTube. I've never heard that phrase. I love it. <laughs> Can you put us on Nightlight YouTube? No, not after Hope. I mean, do Hope. Do hope. <laughs> I didn't know there was Nightlight YouTube. I'll be like, I'm going to ask my mom. Mom, through here, can you put me on nightlight YouTube? Oh, thanks, Kelly. She got up. Huh? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll oh, I was going to link the channel. Okay. Oh, there's a channel close. Okay. I didn't know that. There you go. Link is up. Can they click on it? What? Can they click on it? Yeah, because it's for us. Okay. We can post this. Nobody else can. Oh, wow. wow. Don't what let is... the power go to my head. Mm -hmm. This is Maeve. Anthropology. It's called the Perneal. P? P E R N I L L E. Oh, Sounds like one of those medicine commercials. <laughs> yeah, I think you'll get value out of her videos as well. She has three hauls she said she's posting that she found out before she had cancer, so you'll get value out of it as well. She's got a good channel. Really solid. What type? Small. Small. See, you know, this is where I'm going to undercut this purse. <laughs> <laughs> like a boss. Maybe it's just pingers we're listening. You know, you just got to get rid of this. Just get it out of here. Quick list. I like it. I'm trying. No, but it's quick list for me too because I don't spend hours comping or anything like that. Yeah. Did you ever put the promotions back on? I did. Sweet. Sweet. I did. I remembered. Friday, you guys. I'm looking forward to the weekend just to have a little minute. Right. We're going to estate sales tomorrow. Maybe we'll find stuff. But other than that, just having a minute. Just need, I, I do need to organize some stuff in our house again. Always. And finish the garage. But Ugh. I know. <laughs> no. Never going to be finished. No. <laughs> I was going to say take a break from YouTube, but really, <laughs> we don't do anything extra for YouTube but as of no, right now. Not really. We don't really. No. Um, but our numbers, y'all want to know something funny. Our YouTube numbers are better when we don't do extra work. I think it's a reseller phenomenon. Yeah. When we actually make a video and we plan it, it doesn't get as many views. <laughs> like, we try really hard and like, okay, this is what we're going to do. We put up computer stuff and screen recordings. And we're like, man, this one's going to be great. Mwah. No. Ten, ten. Mwah. And the comments are like, I wish you guys would just ship stock. <laughs> I mean, we ship stuff anyway, so it's like not oh, extra man. work. It's a little bit of extra work, but not, not really. <laughs> it's funny, <laughs> So then we're like, man, we'll just, we'll just keep shipping. <laughs> Bring back the daily grind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, St. B's. 
senior discount at St. V's. Whoop, 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 whoop. We uh -oh. love St. V's. Where's your St. V's? I call it St. V's because my grandma used to work there, and I worked there when I was six years old until I was 10. I worked there every summer. Coming. He said, bad clothes. This is the good part. So we would take the donations that didn't sell for the week. So we would go in in the mornings on Mondays after mass. And then we would bag up all the clothes that hadn't sold over the weekend. I didn't know anything about brands or anything. I was a kid. But we would put in these big black trash bags. And then at Monday at 3 p.m., people would drive by in their cars to the back of St. B's. And we would load their cars with black trash bags. And they were people that were needy. And they had little vouchers that the church gave them. So it wasn't resellers. It was people that actually needed the clothes. And we would do bags of kids' clothes, adults, women's, and men's. And we just gave them to them. It was so great. I am like want to cry thinking about it. It was so great. It didn't go to the dumpster. It went to people that needed it. They would just pull up. They didn't have to say anything. They just handed over their voucher. There was no judgment. We just handed them the bags. They opened their... It was kind of like COVID. They popped their trunk and my brother and I would just put the bags in. They would tell us what they needed. Kids clothes. Okay. We would put the bags in. I don't know what happened to the clothes. I'm sure they weren't the right sizes. I have no idea. But I'm, I got the understanding that they would probably give it to their community, you know, other people, spread the wealth. It was great. And now I see the, the place that even saved me is just putting in the dumpster. And I'm like, well, what? If you put these in bags and gave them to people, they would take them. It was in a really low income area, though. Our St. Jesus. I guess our St. Jesus is kind of in a low income area, though. Ours? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Kind of. So they definitely could do a little more charity there. In my opinion. What's a beeple? I don't even know what a beeple is. 60 cents and 150 bucks. What? A beeple? It must be a plush. It's a plush. It's like a toy or a plush. What's or the number? Fifty five ninety nine. People. Question. I recently started using Photo Room app. It's frowned upon if my cover photo has a name Photo Room on the bottom corner of things. I don't think so, but you're gonna hit a limit. There's a limit now and then it watermarks the entire background. I don't know what the limit is. Once you do enough photos it's gonna, for the month, it's going to be like, no, girl, no. So I would just pay for it. I would use your money and make the investment because you can write it off on your taxes as a business expense. I'm not a tax advisor, but you can. It's 50 bucks, I think. Worth every single freaking penny, especially if you work For the a, batch feature alone. For batches, like you can do everything all at once. You don't have to do it one by one by one. And also, if you're in a small space like us, like we get the freaking I mean, half the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Especially with long Especially things. this one when yeah. I have to back all the way up. Like the whole board is in there, half yeah. Amy's leg. It's like, all right. And this is a new thing that Photo Room has just implemented this like complete watermark on the back where you really can't use it. Maybe 50. I don't know what the limit is. I'm sorry. But I, we both have it on our phone, so we pay twice. But it's worth every single penny when you need it in the batch mode. You can do a lot. I think 50 photos at one time. 250. Oh, you do the business batch? No, no. It, regular pro is 250, I think. Well, let me do 50 one time because I must have been doing it. I think they changed it. Yeah, I did that too, Cynthia, for a long time. But then when I realized batch mode was so much faster, it was like, is this really saving me money by like, saving I would. Saving you time. Yeah. Because I would crop out the photo room things too, but at the end of the day, the time I spent doing that photo by photo by photo. Yeah, you would screenshot, crop, edit, knit, and say it, no. And no, then I'm no, like, no, no, oh, no. I could just do batch and then directly <laughs> upload it to eBay. It was way better. Okay, I need information here. Okay, it's the Spiritual Gangster Hasi jumpsuit. H A C C I. Or is it Hachi? Yeah. You can match 50 with Pro now. That's what Marianne's saying. I know. I thought 52. Dan's all over here. 250. I think flexing. 250. He's flexing. Start batch. 
select up to 250 photos. He must have got the Pro Pro. Yeah. Now, Tiny it says, says business unlock super batch. Yeah, what's super batch? I think like a thousand or something. See, to me, it says super batch 250. Weird. It does say that. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Tiny I don't says know. super batch. Tanya, I want to tell you that I put my plants in the shade when you told me to originally. I did. They are getting scorched a little bit, but not bad. And I've been watering them. You know, I got one of the, somebody told me to get a moisture meter. Somebody in this chat told me to get a moisture meter, so I did. And so every time they're dry, I water them. So sometimes once a day, sometimes twice a day, and sometimes none a day. And they're doing okay. One of them is still producing flowers. They do look a little sad. <laughs> <laughs> My but it has is, been 117,000 degrees. The sunflowers died, but I think that was normal for them. But the Gerber daisies are still pretty much going. What size is this? Extra small. Yeah, the Gerber daisies are still blooming. I love it. I have pro, not business, and it's two fifty. Oh, mine doesn't have that. No, oh, whatever. I don't ever need to do more than fifty. But apparently, some people have two fifty, and some of us have fifty. They're going to look sad. Keep watering. Feed them. Do I need to put, like, anything else? What do I need to put? Like, fertilizer or something? I don't know how to do plants. Miracle Girl. Plant food. I can put plant food on it? Miracle Girl. Yeah. You don't or know. Some kind, some kind of plant food. This man acting like he knows. I'm just saying. You don't know. I mean, I'm, I've seen commercials. He saw the <laughs> commercial. Oh, my That's God. Funny. Oh, my God. He saw the commercial. No, I'm just saying. He really I did. don't know. He really saw the commercial. I'm asking Tanya if she knows. You gotta feed him. Oh god, I thought you were gonna throw that at me. I would so never. I had trauma. Oh damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> god, Flint's like, like <laughs> actually though. I would never. I know that, but I get that trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with a twin brother, though like do it every time. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> like, oh. Holy crap, listening to y'all talk batch loads, just got an iPhone and tech ADHD going wild. Watching you guys chatting on laptop, TV tube for picture sound, and Rex Rich is on iPhone. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> Bless you for doing that. Nope. Yes, fertilize them. They need to eat too. Dan is too funny. Oh, I have to do I get those little, like, you know those little sticks? Is that what I'm supposed to get? <laughs> I know exactly what you <laughs> <laughs> Or do I have to, like, do a powder? What do I get? Coffee grounds? I don't know. Maybe it's Miracle Grow. They're in pots. It would be okay. Is it Miracle Grow the sticks? <laughs> Dan, the plant expert, after watching a Miracle Grow commercial. It's all you need. It's all you need. <laughs> he literally was like, I saw the commercial. <laughs> I saw it. I seen it. I seen it. I can't. <laughs> I not with this man. He literally said that. Like a boss. <laughs> Like, oh, he needs fertilizer. He's never said that to me once. My plants are dying. He's never been like, Ben, you just need fertilizer. Okay. Like, <laughs> All of a sudden. Oh, yeah. No. Just need fertilizer. <laughs> What's the number? 5,600. He figured out the tiny tickets, y'all. Do not be worried. <laughs> <laughs> tiny tickets. It was ridiculous. How did that happen? I don't know. They were very tiny. It doesn't feel like terry cloth. It does not feel like terry cloth. What, this, yeah. this thing? Yeah. Not even a little bit. But overall, new, right? New with tags. I wore those and they saw the tags. I wore them in a live one time. I was trying them out for size. Did you? Uh, yeah, I had the tags in one. Try these. It wasn't my. It wasn't my best look. So I sold them. 
That's funny. Are those first time? Oh, Megan's lurking. Hi. Hey. And that's yes. why I can't list during your show. Dang it. I'm sorry. Hey, Krillin. What up? Go do your advertisement before everyone signs off. Plug away. Our doggy visitor has tummy trouble. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks like my oldest foot stripped from her friend. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. You better get her some bubblegum medicines. That's what I always used to get when I was a kid. I'm allergic to it now. I do miss the daily grind. That was my 6 a.m. coffee routine before work every day. Really? Can't use our other videos in the same way? You, you saw the coffee intro? <laughs> get it. Uh, we'll, we'll have to refilm the coffee intro. Yeah, it was all dirty. I couldn't take it. <laughs> it was like coffee explosion. I was like, Dan, this is not this is not a good look. She was like, mm, it's got it. Mm. <laughs> he did too. He just filmed it. He didn't care. I would have cleaned the whole thing. He was just like, nah. It's good. It was so fast. Nobody ever knows. Oh Pictures, you ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Did they send? <laughs> no. Okay, now it goes. Krillin is doing live streams on the Flipping Goodies YouTube channel 8 p.m. on Sunday night. Oh, yeah. This is Eastern Time. He's on Long Island. So if you're watching this in Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Long Island time. He's on Island time. <laughs> Go sub to the channel if not subscribe. Yeah, that's fine. Zara, right? I need. I do need help with this though. That is. Zara. These photos are not loading. Oh, come on. eBay. Come on. That makes me crazy. Why does it not load? Staples just ripped in half. $1.99. Sunday night. No luck with the Balenciaga. Thank you for checking. No luck. No. Nope. It's cross listed too, so not even any luck on Poshmark or anything. Dang it. Is this thing this light? Can I see the color of that gray? I feel like your pictures are dark. Doc. I think so. I need you to be more color accurate or you lose your job. I'm we get into this we we just do not I we see different things. You is color behind them. I, I you need a quality control. No. You need to show me first picture. No. <laughs> Any first right of refusal. No. <laughs> well, I have to go edit your photos. Look how dark this is compared here. Give me this. Let me show you. Not the same. Watch try and do this. More of the same. That was too light to me. There. Okay. It's a heather. You got it looking like a charcoal. That is not even close to a charcoal. You got it looking like a charcoal. You got it looking like a slate. You got it looking like a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Colorblind, maybe it is. A lot of men are colorblind. Have you ever heard that? No. Yep. Many men are colorblind. I won't say the majority, but many. Many. Gretchen. She's just checking in. I need to know if those are first time. Overhauls. We also have some Carhartt overalls that I would love to list. 12 ounces. Okay. Let's see. 
This was half price. Did you write that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this means floral button down, full velvet tray. Yeah, okay. That's on one that's. What size is this one? Extra small? Uh, no, just regular small, I believe. Oh, I love it. I would wear it, but it's not my size, isn't it? Ooh, Levi stripes overalls for myself, but I got too fat. Krillin. What? Have you tried the keto to fit into your overalls? <laughs> Just long enough to fit into your overalls. Then. You would look like the conductor, Mr. Conductor. Yo, how come George Carlin's on a kid show? But isn't that messed up? <laughs> when you actually think about it, you're like, oh. How did he get that job? Right? Of all the jobs. I can't copy this listing because it's from England. Yeah. Oh, the wide stripe over it. So you look like you're in prison? Which one? Hey, Melissa, happy Friday. You just listen. I'm trying. Trying to get through this rack because we just bought a, a bunch of clothes. We said we weren't going to yesterday, and then here we are. <laughs> hey. uh, you gotta, like you said, you gotta open, you gotta listen for opportunity. Strike when the <clears> iron's <throat> hot, people. The iron was hot. Very. That's where I have trouble when people are like, I'm on, I'm a no thrift summer, or no thrift July, or whatever. And I'm like, but, but what if? No, but what if? Just what if? Right. Okay, so I can't find a company this shirt in Markin. Marka. Okay. If they'll let me. It always makes me log into G. Yep, it's not letting me. <laughs> Figured I'd try it out, you know. Yeah. Try this one. It's not the same. Is it a small? Mm hmm. V neck? Yeah. Do not listen eBay of UK. I do not do that. I don't even know how to do that. I always just back out. When it's like, UK, I'm like, no, I'm good. I have to log in to eBay UK, and I don't know how to do that. I don't want to do that. Dan the man is tired. It's been a long one, huh? Long week. A little bit. Tell these two. I am subscribing to every one of you right now if you have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Sorry, yelling your excitement. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the same as your password, but don't do it. Oh, I didn't do that. I didn't know that, do you? What? You can log into eBay UK with your own regular yeah. old password. 
What happens when you do it? I gotta know. I'm not gonna do it. I just wanna know what happens. I think I've done it before accidentally. You do? Yeah, I think so. No. Is this aloe or beyond yoga? Aloe. It says Guten Tag. I'm sure. Guten Tag. What is this, a yoga top or something? Or some kind of... Yeah. It's going to be a totally different direction. What do you mean? Let's tell us more. <laughs> Yes. Oh. We're, we're intrigued now. Yeah, I keep looking at my finger blade and then I'm a napkin in your cake. I have a napkin. Perfect. I do have a napkin. I'm telling you, when he does <laughs> the finger, the knuckle chopsticks. <laughs> I do think I have enough coordination to do that. No, oh, I don't. I'll answer. Gretchen's back. Hey, Gretchen. I need a style number on this or something. Small petite. No, just small, right? Don't confuse me like this. Okay. Yeah, just small. Um. Got a VN number? Not an RN? Well, it does have an RN, but also. Hey, Rusty Bucket! VN 2631. Is that it? That's it. Maybe a Google image uh, help on the old aloe. Nope. Yoga. Nope. It's about to flip out. Oh god, I can't take it. <laughs> Making fun of the world instead of just reselling YouTubers. I've only listened to one podcast at one time, but it was four hours, so I feel like I know it. And um you talk about worldly things. I don't remember. I, don't, I do remember talking about eBay camp, but I never really caught what was happening. So I, now I know. I asked a bunch of questions afterward. I must have missed the first episode about eBay camp. I really need a Google image here. Okay, give me one second. Didn't someone else just hire three drag queens to perform? Wait, Rusty Bucket, are you someone else as well? <laughs> I gotta call. I'm I'm scrolling all the way down. I just heard about drag queens. What? I saw drag queen, but I heard someone talking about drag queen. No, just me! There's one on Poshmark, but it's teal. Uh huh. Is that style? What do no. I call it? Teal and green, teal, green, and gray striped mesh. Dan hates Google Angel. With a passion. It doesn't. It, I rarely get it to work. Giving you a 
fair shot. <laughs> I am. Chrissy, Rusty, bu Rusty Bucket is Chrissy. Chrissy, Chrissy. Oh, my, not going to get that confused with all the Christies. <laughs> I got it. Chrissy. Chrissy. Yes, I do it all the time. I, this is one of my favorite tricks in the book. Something right. gets stale, you raise the price, and then it sells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants this to twenty dollars. Who will take it for forty? Haha. -ha. Yeah. <laughs> Is it tank? Huh? What? Is it tank? Tank top? It's just sleeveless. No, but it's not a tank. Thing there is coming, coming up on a tour. <laughs> now that Kayla has passed Harry Tornado in views with one fifth of the subs, I feel my life is complete and need to ride off into the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't sell any sport coats today on Poshmark. Only murders in the podcast. Y'all funny. Yeah, I'm excited for Kayla. That's, that's amazing. Pictures? I mean, I just don't watch Harry Tornado. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's like... The other day, his little thing was like... You know how you scroll on YouTube and it, um, it gives you like little words... What do you call it? Captions? Yeah. Lord. Because Dan's always sleeping and I'm scrolling. And um, <laughs> I think it was like, we have 12 orders to ship out today. And I was like, the, I think the word was like, people ask us if we still resell. We do. We're going to pull 12 orders to ship out today. And to me, that was crazy. That was crazy. To have 300,000 followers and only ship out 12 orders. That's all. Hmm? What? If you have 300,000 people listening to what you say, you should be sitting on 12 orders. I would think. Because you would have more things listed, right? Because you would be an expert telling people what to do. That's just how I was thinking about it. I don't know if that's right. That's logic. That's my logic. Could be wrong, though. You've proven wrong before. Yeah. What? 
Can you miss him again? I already put him in the theater. <laughs> That's why I was like, what? <laughs> Loser! Yeah, I think so too, Chrissy. I feel like one of the money suck. I don't know, though. I really am. I've had this hint to comment because I don't really. <laughs> never logged in once. Still, I've never <laughs> seen a and whatnot go down. We've never seen one. Maybe this weekend we'll watch somebody's. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> hey, I know some of you did LuLaRoe. Is it like LuLaRoe? Because that's in my head it is. Lurkers. LuLaRoe lurkers. <laughs> Where's Where <you> Carrie? <laughs> Carrie, have you seen Whatnot? Is it, is it LuLaRoe-esque? Because I'm not really down with that. Lula <laughs> <Lularo> Row adjacent. <laughs> the question this whole time wasn't watching live. I love it. <laughs> oh, really? Tommy watched Vanessa tonight and she only sold four of 30 items and she has a huge following. Whoa. The shipping is awful now and people take cheap prices. It's bad. See, I think it's going to crash and burn. Feels like it. Anything that like soars to the top at the beginning, oh, we're going to crash and burn. That's just like, that's human nature. Remember Clubhouse did that? We never joined that either. Oh, I, yeah. That was... I didn't get invited. Oh. Fine. Nobody wanted to talk to us. I don't like to talk to people in general. Exactly. So I, would, I would not have accepted an invitation. Yeah, but no wait, one I did have to talk to you? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can. This is John Rovato's starting as a publisher. Look at us just going through this stuff. We're not even thinking of it, you know? Just go. Okay. Large. Fridays are a hard night to do a sale. Mm hmm. Oh, Gretchen tried Clubhouse. At least she got invited. <laughs> That's like Mean Girls Club. Yeah, so yeah. Actually, I never asked to get invited. Did you have to ask somebody, or did they just like reach out? Like, hey, please join us. It's a rodeo clown all over the place. Yes, Janice. <laughs> have you ever watched it? I'm sorry, what did you say? Side up. Large. Large. You know, I gotta outbeat this guy's price. Oh, great. So I got twenty-four ninety-five, but five fifty shipping. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. What's the number? Fifty-six oh three. I've heard of people getting deals on there, and when I say I've heard of people, it's just like Instagram posts because I don't know anybody that actually follows on Instagram. But they say they've gotten like good stuff to resell. I don't know. Do you feel like you could use this while driving, fishing, golf, hiking? All of those. Well, sure. I just want to pick one, really. What about rugby? <laughs> walking. Walking. Done. <laughs> it is a walking shirt. I definitely picked it. Uh, is it 100% cotton? Yes, it is. Button? Hmm? Color spot. Is it a spread color? Yeah. Button down? Yeah. No graphic and personal. Look at us charging through. I'm proud of us. Just go. Just go. Go. You just gotta go. I'm gonna be perfect. It's actually gonna be pretty crappy. Yep. That's okay. <laughs> just gotta get through these clothes. And then you guys get to watch us list Eileen Fisher for a week. Yeah. You're What's welcome. What's wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> God. I do not know. Normally, once you get locked in, you locked in. I know. Oh, Jan Janice tried to list them there. He keeps forgetting to take pictures of tags, like every single item. Just the last three <laughs> just the last three <laughs> um 
Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Janice is talking about Goodwill's platform. She oh, tried to list right. something on there and it was no good. How about the good reseller site? We're not wasted. Yeah, Janice tried to list something on there. She couldn't even list it. Something went wrong. I'm going to work tomorrow. Good night, Tanya. Bye, good night. Hope we'll hope up on the work computer to roll through the night and all day Sunday. Oh, my. <sighs> Thank you. I hate that anyone has to deal with this stuff. It's insane. It is insane, but the YouTube watch hours that you're going to give her is going to give her who knows how much income. That is so sweet. Thank you so much for doing that. You have a lot of good karma that will rain down. I'm sure of it. Thank you. I officially went through 50 items today. I'm only keeping 18. My brain is fried. Clocking out now. Y'all have a great weekend. Good night, Christy. Bye. See you later. I'm proud of you. That's a lot of work. Copying stuff is no joke. That's why people don't do it. Yep. <laughs> I'm glad she's doing that, though. It would be a really good experiment. You know how Chris from Daily Refinement, his thing was always about niching down. That was, like, his thing. Yes. I think our thing is about comping things with high sell through. We're only selling that, <laughs> even though we're not part of that. But I, I feel like better. that's our thing. Yeah. I think better than niching down is just selling stuff that's going to sell. So, you do what? Yeah. All right, what are we working with here? This is a siphon jersey. Uh, it's from the brand Twin Six. S I X? Yes. Mm -hmm. It is the this tag says Club Raglan, uh, but it says Speedy by Club London. Cute, in it. In it. Where's Fiona? I miss Fiona. <laughs> I'm thinking I say maybe some sellers have dropped off over the last few months on eBay. Why do you think they've dropped off? Um, I think Christy signed off, but I will answer for her. I think she's in Washington State right now. She travels, you see. Christy has lived on a boat, in an RV. She is a reseller that is on the go. It's really cool what she does. I think she's in the Northeast right now. I mean, Northwest right now. But you never know what she pop up. <laughs> <laughs> she's like that. We're going to ask her when we want to move. We want to be able to relocate for like three months at a time, any time of year. And we're going to ask her how to ship, how she does it when she moves. Because like, do you have to change it in eBay? Like, how do you know where you are to drop packages off at the post office? Yeah, they do not take returns here. Mm -hmm. I had carnival glass in my car today and put it back. I'm learning. There you go. Drop off enlisting commitment. Going back to work in offices, not posting as much. That makes sense to me. I just changed my address in the platform, so it was easy. Oh, but then what happens with the sales tax? This is where I get, like, do you get two different 1099s? Sales tax and tenant, no, 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 you're, you're mixing things up. And mixing up. Like the thing where we have to send zero, 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 zero. I don't think that would mess anything up because. It does because if we move to Maryland or D.C., they have a state income tax. And we would be making income in that state. 
So do you get two different ten nine? That's what I'm asking. I don't. I'm not. I don't know. But I will say that I have gotten ten ninety nines from. Remember when I worked in Maryland, I got ten ninety nine when we lived in Texas. That's fine. Yeah. But do you get two different ones if we go mid year? Is what no. I'm saying. I don't think so. Okay, size. What is this? Size. Extra large. Men's. Yeah. Speedy Bike Club Death Valley. No. Mm -mm. <coughs> Speedy Bike Club, London. Black and tan and red. Okay, what's the number? 5604. Oh, of course, it says keep calm, carry on on the sleeves. Cute. Um, EJ told me to change address for shipping away from home. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, Delaware, like all the credit card companies. <laughs> Where are y'all moving? Um, I don't know. Just change my shipping address, not my home address, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah okay. It does. Happy Friday, Matt. Hey. We want to potentially move, and this is me talking, maybe Dan doesn't, I don't know, but between September and December. I would love to be in D.C. for three months, at least. So we'll see if we can make that happen. I'm trying to find a sublet. Or some. <laughs> some kind of arrangement. And one of our YouTube subscribers said she just sent her inventory away. I'm so interested in that. And somebody else ships it for her, kind of like FBA. I don't know how that works. If anyone knows how that works, let us know. I'm sure there's a P involved, which I'm not crazy about. But it does sound interesting. It does. Out, out, outsourcing the shipping. Yeah. Best free restroom in D.C. the Women's Art Museum. I would agree with you. <laughs> That's fun. Eblis. There's a fee, but they do everything for you. What? What's the fee? Melissa, what's the fee? What's the fee? <laughs> $5 an item? Ouch. That's a hefty fee. I can't do $5 an item. Nope. That's like 50 bucks a day. That's minimum. like, that's, that, that was like essentially like doubling our cost of goods. I think we're going to put our store, this is our, our, Thing. We're gonna put our store in a U-Haul and take it with us. Eee. I know. If we can figure out the logistics, it's not that much stuff. Yeah, I need the photos. Um, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. It's like twenty-three hundred listings right now. But we'll fit a U-Haul. It's like fits in a closet. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta right? fit a U-Haul. But with all the plush and everything, I don't know. That's a... It'll fit. It's good bins. Because we're not moving. We're going to try to find a furnished place. We're not going to move our stuff just like a suitcase of stuff. Yeah. It's just all inventory. It would be a little weird with the boxes and stuff. But now that we haven't organized, it might not be so bad. Might not be so bad. Anything to get me out of Texas for three months. I'm in it. Come on. Come on. But we would have to, like, tow our car. Or something. And the cats. <laughs> Jesus. We have cats that we would need to steal. So I'm just... We haven't worked out all the details. <laughs> we don't actually own said cats. We're gonna we're gonna catnap the cats. Catnap of the cat. Should we list this super thrashed har hard vest? Yeah, I put it in there to list. I think it's great. Let's list it. Let's list it. Where would it come from? This I is think like it's a, a cost. costume. Let's go to the box for show. You could give free rent for a person to do the work for you. We were thinking about that. Yeah. Um, so we would have to find someone soon and teach them the ropes. But the thing is, we would still want a list from DC. So like, how? What do you mean how? 
How do we ship from two different places? Um, we would eat. I think it's easy. The same way when we had a uh, hammock listing for us, you just whoever's staying, you just give them. You you add them to your eBay. As You're not listen, answering the question. How do we ship from two different locations? Well, if I could finish what I'm saying, if somebody's logging in here to eBay, you could, they print those labels from here, and the stuff that we sell that we have with us, we print the labels from up there. Really? It seems like a really easy way to do it. Let me try. Just change your shipping address, not your home address. Just don't bring it to the counter at the PO, so they won't don't tell, so they don't yell at you. <laughs> You can bulk edit locations on items. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay. Or have separate stores. Yeah, we could try that too. But yeah, you just, like the stuff we list while we're there, you just change the location. Ships Kelly, do of... you want to come to Dallas and ship our shit? <laughs> Reseller, home store, sitter, service. I'll live in your house and feed the cats and ship your shit. Wow. Bro, nice. would you do that? <laughs> You could have a free vacation in Dallas. You live in a good part of town. You would like it. Does anyone in the chat want to come to our house for three months? You you will be probably vetted. We have fantastic cats. They are the best cats. Not as good as Mojo, but second pretty, pretty to Mojo. Close. Pretty close. They're getting up there. They're fantastic. And they don't puke, which is, I mean, a lot. Yeah. However many, how many months have they been here? And they don't puke. I've cleaned up two hairballs. Two hairballs. No puke. Amazing. Does anyone want to come? <laughs> no one's answering. <laughs> Matt said you'd never get rid of me. <laughs> That's fine. You can live here. We do have a guest room. But you have a job. We need somebody that's a reseller with a baby store. And you can move your store here. we got another room you can put your store in. You know, easily Matt could get a job here. Matt, you want to get a job here? <laughs> Do you want to move to Dallas? Dan's yeah, trying to be no, bromos. I'm trying to be a friend. We want to have you bro, bro mates. How do you say roommates, but bro? I'm trying to make a pun out of it, but yeah, it's not coming it's not out. It's not working out right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, new Airbnb in Reseller Haven. Learn how to eBay and I will stay forever. <laughs> yes. I'd move in temporarily like the kitties, but then you'd fall in love with me and I'd stay. <laughs> it's fine. We got rooms. It's all good. DMC wants to bring their own cats. Uh, I mean, we have two cats. They're pretty friendly, maybe. They do have claws, though. Oh, there's 100% a trigger that puts a hold or ban on an account if you ship too many too far away from item location. I know a few who have been banned from it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we list stuff there that we're going to ship from there, mm -hmm. at the end of every listing, it always says ships from. You just change that address or change the zip code. I'm just saying, if you do that too much, yeah. there's an issue. You get flagged or something. You write most. I think you're saying if you don't change the item location. I don't know that's what he said. Didn't, you, didn't that what you just read? If you ship too far away from item location? No. All right. How can you ship? If I if the item location is DC and you ship from DC. Yeah, okay, maybe. That's true. Right. I, I mean that's yeah. just that just sounds like it would be the, it would work. Well, I'm trying to figure out any way to make it work. I just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to GTFO Texas for a hot minute. I'm trying to go, you know, just catch my breath. I'm homesick and I'm trying to take care of my grandmother. She's not doing well. My uncle's all alone taking care of her. So to have three months up there to help him and to like catch my own breath would be a blessing. What size is that? This is a large tall. Mm -hmm. We also just want to give it a try because if we do move up there, I want Dan to have lived there a little bit. You know, just to see if he likes it. Because if he doesn't like it. He won't be stuck somewhere he doesn't like. <clears throat> <laughs> Joke. All right, I get it. I get it. Jeez. <laughs> A big channel thrift mine. Wait, I know thrift mine. 
had it happen, Ryan used to take it to work with him an hour away after a few months that their account as a drop shipper and they had zero sales until it was fixed. Whoa. Wow. Okay, I can I follow that, but that's still I still think that as long as you're changing the item location, there's no issue. But yeah, if like if if all of our item locations said like a lot of the older listings still say have the other zip code. Yeah, but we have the same close enough. Right. Same post office. But if like if every day that'd be like if every day I was driving all of our stuff down to Waco and shipping it from there. Yeah, it would seem weird. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I think the next zip code over is probably fine. Like, we take ours to a different post office all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, Telesu was saying I could open up an eBay store in my name. Okay, and that's true. Yeah. Oh my god, I used to take my shipping to Dallas when I used to drive to work every day. I still can't believe Jamis you drove to Dallas every day. I'm sorry. Like what what? That's crazy. <laughs> that was a lot of driving. That was a lot. What'd you say extra large tall? Large tall. Not extra. Thrashed? Thrashed. I cannot fit that. I'll put it in the description. Slightly thrashed. Uh, it might be more than slightly. Really? I mean, it's got some serious pit patina. Yeah, I did that with a, um, you know what I did that with? <laughs> oh, with those shmears. Those shmears, yeah. It's fake thrashed. Fake thrashed, even better. I'm going to put thrashed. Melissa says they get more money if they're thrashed. She says run it over with your truck. Run it over. Dang, y'all make my brain work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the number? 44, I'm sorry, 45, 41. Okay. Should I put it in big and tall? Uh, yeah, because it's a tall. Yeah, but like, I don't do that with suitcases. Well, that's that's different. Should pre-owned condition, but has been distressed heavily for a costume. But for stage, that sounds for better. Stage. Still in great structural shape, right? Yes. Thick, and man. Worn in. Y'all, I did this myself. I'm sorry. I, I've never thought that you could, you know, after you had to stress something, sell it. First hour into Honey's video, she got some stuff in the spot and damage. She has been holding up some of those solid wood shoes that we did this week. Who's Honey? How many TVs are you watching? <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you talking about Hope? I'm calling Hope, honey. She's a honey. Follow my shoes, man. They sell. It takes a while, though. I'll tell you what, it does take a while. You gotta get the right buyer that wants a shoe made out of a tree. <laughs> Three things, three things one time. Excellent. How are they going to go? 15 or 12? Ooh, we can probably get away with 12. Thrashed. Thrashed. Super. 
We have some solid wood shoes in the garage. We gotta bring a shoe box in here. We have so almost so many good shoes. Death pile in our office now, which is exciting. It really is. We need to list more than ten a night. We really, really are trying to like get to fifteen or twenty a day. If we could chug along every night like this night, it would be good. Two Yorkies on my lap trying to show my lap dog down. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy made five hundred dollars on Posh today. It's nice. amazing. He's like, I'm gonna hear my wife tell me about it. <laughs> tell her to list on McCarty and then she can make seven hundred. Who's honey? Do I need to watch these videos? I don't watch a honey right now. Not a fan. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Rex to riches. That's not honey. That's hope. <laughs> that means I have to list more so eBay doesn't take. <laughs> 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 she meant to try poke. I got you. I got you. Dance baby wiping. Is that you giving up? <laughs> I said we're at 10 days. Like, I'm done. Sweet. Pack it up, pack it in. Oh, honey rags. Yeah, I knew who that is. I don't watch them anymore. I don't. This is a, probably a ping, ping, ping. Ping, 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 ping. ping. And then why is it hanging over here instead of in the. I don't know. I've never. Discard. It will probably sell. So let's list it. Let me look it up. What? <laughs> I already named it. Yeah, we don't have an orange one. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> drag guns. What is it? Evolve Tour 2018. I don't know anything about this. What size is it? That's very small. Yeah, small. Not going for much. Oak Force Ones. What? What you talking about? Cow. Cow. Is that Oak Force Ones? <laughs> What a oak I don't know. He's like, count the rings to authenticate. <laughs> the wooden, I get okay, I got it now. I don't get it now. The wooden shoes. Oh, oak force. Oak force ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You got her. You got her. I know. I got her now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh, top of the list. So, honey rags was suggested to you at top of your list. I don't know. There's just some things when people suggest mainly it's haul videos, and I'm just gonna go off on a tangent for a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where they haul things that I know damn well are not good and they're not have a good self to rate. Anyway, I stop watching those people immediately because they're telling people to buy things that are not good. So, bye. I mean, I'm listening stuff here, but I'm giving you a, a caveat. I'm like, this is from our death pile. We're just trying to get through this. I tell you like 50 times a video. Don't look at what we're doing right now. We're just doing a company. I'm not up on my YouTube channel being like, buy this. Without having done any research behind it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it makes me crazy because that's what suggested to newbies. And then they're buying the BS that will never sell. Guess who did that? Me. <laughs> me. I'm done now. She's a fake. I'm done now. I'm done. <laughs> Chrissy's like, why did I get so much joy earlier watching Dan shove that doll into a box? <laughs> I know. People love it. <laughs> they love it. So we had this guy. I've told you guys before. We had this guy, this watch friend of ours, like, look at our YouTube channel to tell us why, <laughs> why we weren't growing. Like, really, he looked at our YouTube and he, like, did the full thing, right? He, like, did the, the full survey. Analysis. The full analysis. He looked at our keywords or what I, whatever you do to look at YouTube. He was like, all right, guys, I just got to sit down and tell you. Nobody wants to see you pack things into boxes <laughs> for hours. And so we stopped doing it, and our views tanked. And people were like, why aren't you pack packing things into boxes for hours? <laughs> Reselling is a very special place. That's all I will say about that. He didn't understand the crew. Did not understand But yeah, reseller YouTube is like its own thing. It's very, it doesn't abide by the normal <laughs> no. strategies. He was like, but seriously, who is going to watch you ship everything you do? Like, you don't even edit it. And we're like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, but it's in real time. YouTube's not meant for real time. We we're like, I uh -huh. mean, uh -huh. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> he was like, you need to edit. And we're like, no. nah. <laughs> no, we're not, we're just not going to do that. <laughs> That's your niche. <laughs> Truth. Crazy said, every time I shove a plush into a bag and squeeze the air out to make it fit in a poly, I think of Dan. Yes. <laughs> it's okay as long as newbies don't go crazy. That's how we learn. That's true. Until he said, but it's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that, that used to be us. But it's a dollar. God. <laughs> I try to explain to this YouTube guy. I'm like, no, no, people don't watch our videos. He's like, what? I mean, they don't care about that. Either. They don't watch. They're listening while they're working. He's like, what? <laughs> like a study video? And I'm like, I mean, I guess, kind of. And then he looked at like whatever where it shows you what device people are watching on. And the major like way more was on TV than on mobile device. And he could not. Under he was like dumbfounded. He's like, you're the only channel I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> who has more watchers on TV than on mobile. It's like, I can't figure it out. And he's like, that's great. Because How are you doing that? Because once you're on a TV, they can't switch away from you. And we're like, but they don't want to switch away from <laughs> us. <laughs> we're helping them work. And he's like, what do you mean you're helping them? We're like, we work, and they put us on so they don't feel alone. And he, he couldn't understand it. He was like, that's so freaking strange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah!
Thea said, I love you are not edited. That's why I watch. Exactly. That's the thing. When people edit their YouTube videos, I don't, I don't really watch them. I get bored. Because <laughs> it feels like contrived and they're editing out all the bad stuff to only include the good stuff. Yeah. I'm not saying we have the best YouTube channel because by all means, we do not. But it's who we are, you know? And it doesn't really take any extra time. And that's the greatest part about it. We can still resell full time without worrying about spending. Some people edit their videos and they're like, this took me eight hours to edit. I'm no, like, are you why? Crazy? Like if, if I'm spending more than like 30 minutes behind the computer editing, I start getting, I'm like, oh, God, <laughs> what am I even doing? <laughs> Like, it's so fast. Like, I clip in a couple of videos, put in, like, four transitions, make sure Mojo's at the end, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Garson said I edited out my gaps of silence. No. Girl, I left why? the camera today. <laughs> Dan was out looking for a flush. I left the camera and just went into the box <laughs> hole. There was nothing happening. <laughs> I mean, for a good, like, at least a minute. Nothing. We're just silent. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what was I going to do? Be like, hey, I, around 20 minutes in, I just left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need you to take So I would just, Gretchen, I wouldn't even worry about it. Don't even worry about don't it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do you. Don't look this, but maybe. If it was me, I would, I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> take the Dan approach. It's fine. Yeah, hey, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Making YouTube videos is way less stressful when you just don't care. I will say though, Gretchen, your videos have way more value than most of our videos. You got nice little sound effects and everything. I know, and you like plan them. <laughs> we used to do that, not anymore. But I guess we should give ourselves a little credit. It's, we're putting out two videos a day. Yeah. So it's fine. You get what you pay for. <laughs> That's right, which is nothing! You lose. Good, Good day. day. Uh, all right, I imported everything. So we did eleven. I was not supposed to list that one. And I did. Great. Welcome to the world. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, what? Yeah, what's oh, thanks, cool. Kelly's tube. That's nice. So nice. The fabric series. Okay, so I'll give you guys a little hint. So next week we're starting a YouTube short series every single day. So we're gonna be putting up three videos. We're gonna try. We're gonna try adding in a daily short. So sixty seconds of goodness. After we pull the items, I'm gonna look at them and say, okay, I know this about this, and I'm gonna do a sixty second short so that you guys can index them and have. So if it's about the fabric, or if it's about the style, or if it's about something that I know about. Right, because there's always something. Or something Dan knows about. You know, I don't, based I don't on what know we don't want to do any extra work. <laughs> <laughs> I have 60 seconds in me. So for 60 seconds, we're going to stop the camera. And for 60 seconds, I'm going to talk about a thing that I think is helpful to reselling. And if it's, if it's a thing Dan can talk about, like menswear, then he'll do it. Yeah. And it'll be 60 seconds. And then we're going to start the camera again and keep shipping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's what I alluded to today. We're going to try it and then just have, because people are asking us for like fabric things and it's hard to find them when they're buried in videos and we don't want to make <laughs> Videos. Right. I'm not going to go back and download all those daily grind videos and clip off the Fabric February portions and no. No. <laughs> but, you know, we will come across those fabrics as we ship things and I could just stop and be like, hey, this is a silk charmeuse. Here's what makes it a silk charmeuse. Yeah. Or, you know, whatever the fabric happens to be. This is cotton. This is Supima cotton. And I can just like spiel off for 60 seconds about what Supima cotton is and why you should price it up. Right. There you go, Ladybug. I'll just talk about Miracle Grow for 60 seconds. <laughs> you saw a commercial. I saw a commercial. It was, it's all you need to know. <laughs> I can't. But we hear you. We hear you. You love the education part, and I do too. So I think it will help both of us, me and the teaching field, because you know shipping isn't really that educational. But um, hopefully it works out. YouTube Shorts can take a channel, so we're gonna see. <laughs> we're gonna see if it tanks our channel. Right. Our channel's fine. <laughs> it's not like viral, you know what I mean? Yeah. Most people get. Most people they they get parabolic with their uh, subscribers. So we're just like a linear. It's all right. It's very. Put them on this channel. Well, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, we could. 
it would get people over here, but I don't know that a lot of people would see it. Some, most people don't come over here. They don't. They like, no, girl. Yeah. I want nothing to do with that. I don't know. We'll figure something out. And link them in your main videos. Like, put them in the end screen. Yeah, like, today's short. Like, link today's short in the end screen and over on the other. I don't know. Can you link other channel in your end screen? I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Well, here's the thing. You can, um, thanks, Tim. You can, so Robert on Rebel's channel today linked her new channel as a comment, like a community post. And it came uh, up in my YouTube feed. It was like, go join this. And her video on the other channel was playing in my YouTube feed. And I was not subscribed to her other channel. I don't know how we did it. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Her video from her live channel is playing in my YouTube feed. And I'm only subscribed to her channel, not the live channel. But now I am subscribed to the live channel. But I wasn't. Well, maybe that's why it was in your feed. Because you're subscribed to one of her channels and it was suggesting it to you. No, no, he made a post and tagged oh, her oh, video. Okay, in it, okay. And it was okay. live playing <clears throat> in my feed. So that's what I think Matt is suggesting. You could put a post and be like, here's today's blah, 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 and link it. And so it would play in their feed as well. I don't know hmm. if that's true, but I, I saw it with my own two eyes. It definitely happened. Yeah. I'll show it to you. Yeah, you guys were. You guys are the OGs. We love you. I think I think it takes a lot. Yeah. <laughs> to not get offended by something I said. No. You lasted this long. No. Remember in the beginning? My God, we see you lose so many. I would say something, and then we lose so many subscribers. I'd be like, I'm so sorry. It's great. All right, are we? Let's. Are we good? Yeah, I think we did everything. I think we're good. <clears throat> that's, that's what I. Lisa. That's what I. That's what I tell her. I really try to be like even keel about it, but there's something like one time I wore my feminist shirt and like, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna wear it next time. It says everyone should be feminist. We lost so many subscribers. I was like, why? I guess they thought I was being political. I, I thought I was being humanitarian. I don't know. I still believe everyone should be a feminist. Unsubscribe. Right? If you don't. <laughs> That's what I said. Yep. Scroll on. Scroll. What is that movie? Oh, Legends of the Fall. Anthony Hopkins, after he has a stroke, he's like, scroll on. <laughs> movie? Uh, we didn't. We really haven't niched down. Like, we're still kind of, we're still in that. We try to, we like to sell a variety of stuff still. Yeah. If you look at our YouTube stats, our niche is Eileen Fisher pants. For sure. <laughs> it's not our passion, but it is what we sell the most of. Because we stumbled into a really big estate sale, a lot of them, months ago. Yeah, and we just got a lot more. Yep. How many pairs? Maybe like 20 more pairs. 20 or 30, yeah. No, just a pants 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah. The tops. Right. That's what I'm saying, Kyle. Whatever brings in the money. Mm-hmm. Good rule. I love it. <laughs> Man. Uh, we sell Eskandor. We just don't have a ton of it as much as we do of Eileen Fisher. Yeah. We probably have, I'm not exaggerating, 150 Eileen P Fisher pieces to list. Because we still have a bunch from the first estate sale, and then we just got a bunch more today. Yeah. We got like 50 more pieces today. No, 40. I said 40. And um, I think 20 or 25 of those pieces are paid. So I don't know who buys Eileen Fisher stuff. It's not the best seller on eBay, but it works for us. Sure does. You'll find a brand that works for you. You'll be like, oh, I sell this brand every single time. Because I watch YouTubers all the time. They'll be like, I don't know why, but this brand sells for me. You'll find your brand. And then that's kind of a niche, a little bit, right? Because you know the styles is quicker for you to list because you're not having to look up styles and, like, fabrics all the time. Because you're like, oh, I know. Like, with Eileen Fisher pants, I'm like, oh, my God, those are the signature crinkle pants. I know them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You start to know. <clears throat> so I do think there's a benefit to niching in that way and that you're bringing in a lot of the same for some of your inventory. I do not think that if we only sold Eileen Fisher pants, we would be doing better. I don't think so. We wouldn't be able to find enough inventory. There's no way. No way. What, what? would we list? Right. I don't know. We would list for like two weeks and then we'd be out sourcing like on the Holy Grail quest to find Eileen Fisher pants. It's great when we find them. And yes, we will buy them because we know how to list them. But what if that was the only thing we listed? Mm-hmm. 
We'd be like dry bone in here. Be like comb in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't found ish. Exactly. That's how we be. <clears throat> we have no inventory. <laughs> We happen to be flush with inventory right now, but that's not always the case. Sometimes I'll go thrifting for months and not find Eileen Fisher. Yeah. And sometimes we'll go to our neighbor's house and find 40 pieces. I'm exaggerating. It's not 40 pieces of Eileen Fisher. Maybe. No, because all those bras. Yeah. It's 30. Yeah. It's 30 pieces. I'm going to count. Okay. (laughs) It's not 50. I got 10 bras in the, in the 50 pieces we got. And a couple of dresses. Most of it's Eileen Fisher. Most Eileen of it is. Okay. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, I mean, Chrissy, yeah. If you're not niche down, you do kind of spend more time looking stuff up because, like Amy said, with Eileen Fisher stuff, we just she knows it and she's able to list it much faster. So, what I'm what I'm saying is that I think you will naturally find your niche. <clears throat> yeah, or I it'll it'll, it'll will, find you. It will surface, right? <laughs> You'll start it at the beginning, and I when I say beginning, like people think of reselling as like the first six months. No. Like the first two years are your beginning. Once you look up enough stuff, you don't have to look it up anymore. We still look up stuff at the thrift store for sell through rate and it takes a long time, but we're learning. And so, for example, native shoes. I never sold a native shoe in my life, but I looked at the sell through rate one time and it's like 88%. Dang. I pick up every single pair of native shoes. I have one right here that I need to list. If we listed these, they would sell tomorrow. So it's not my niche, but every time I'm in the thrift store and I can find them for two bucks, they only flip for 20, I'm going to buy them because it's going to give me a conversion. But I know that from having looked them up, right? So as you look up things, your catalog in your head gets really full and you know what you can pick up. And at that time lessens because instead of looking everything up at the thrift store, you're grabbing things you know will convert. And then you're looking up a couple things instead of looking up everything. So it's going to take you longer sourcing at the beginning but at each time you source, it gets less and less and less about finding things on your phone and finding things in real life. Yeah. <clears throat> now when we go to the thrift store, we're looking for Brioni. We're looking for Chitin. We're looking for Native Shoes. I'm looking for Eileen Fisher. I'm looking for Eskandar. I know what I'm looking for. And we're still not perfect. So half of our time is spent picking up things we know. And the other half, for us, is spent, we'll spend four hours in a thrift store every single time. Especially one thrift store. We'll spend four hours there. And two of those hours, I can imagine, are looking things up. Yep. It's not what I want to do, but it is exciting when you find something that has like an 80% sell-through rate, and you're like, yes. <laughs> and then Dan will come back and be like, look at this brand. I found this new brand. I uh, Frank and Eileen. Yep. Another one that we just figured out. 88% sell-through rate. And any size, and the dresses are 100% sell-through rate. We listed that dress, and it sold in 15 minutes. Now when I'm at the thrift store, I'm looking for Frank and Eileen dresses. I go to the dress section every time, and I'm going really fast because I know what I'm looking for. I'm up my eye on the prize, right? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. I don't know what she else say. <laughs> oh, Atlanta. Hi, oh. Atlanta. Like today, I listed eight video games, four pants, two shorts, three kitchen appliances, and 20 plush. That's some work. It is. Um, I think if I ever had to niche down, if someone had a gun to my head and I was like, you can only list one thing and it wasn't Eileen Fisher pants, it would be flush. I love it. I love listing it. I know it can flip quickly and I can list it fast. I think that would be, what would yours be, Dan? If you, somebody had a gun to your head and you can only list one, one niche. Sport coats. Sport coats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't mean that's the only thing you can list, but if someone had a gun to your head, at least you know. Yep. So it brings you joy. And I say, if it brings you joy, buy more of that. But make sure it sells. Right. <laughs> oh, it's check sell through. <laughs> Matt says, video games. Nice. Choose a close second. So even if you have two niches, I think that's helpful too. But I still wouldn't turn down a $2 thing that's going to flip overnight for 100 bucks just because it's not your niche. Right. 
I wouldn't turn it down. Like, Matt, if you were out shopping and then there was a new rack right beside you and there was a Eileen, uh, I mean, a, um, Frank and Eileen button down dress, you better grab it. Even though you don't really sell Frank and Eileen button down dresses, you know that it will flip overnight for $100. You can grab it, right? Because it's in your catalog up here. Why wouldn't you? Why would you be like, no, I'm niche down. I, I'm not going to even mess with that. <laughs> You're not going to mess with a $100 bill just sitting there? Because I'd mess with it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You would grab it and list it. You just take some photos and photo room them. Turn the lights on. <laughs> oh, you bought, did you buy it? I never get it. I bet you would if you knew it was $100, though. A guaranteed $100. I think you would. Yeah, and frankly, I mean, that brand specifically is pretty easy because it has a name on in the tag. It tells you exactly what it is. Just watch <laughs> again. Just watch <laughs> we'll have another channel. Third, third channel. channel. Perfect. <laughs> uh, 40 bucks. Yeah, that's there's no room so there. That's... But I do have a safe search. So maybe where you live, put a safe search on Facebook because sometimes people will put lots of um, Frank and Eileen and do the safe search for Frank and for San Eileen and then Frank the word and Eileen because they'll do lots of them and they don't know what it's worth. Believe it, like, yeah, I'm just getting rid of all these shirts. Yep. I have one on our Facebook. I, I haven't hit anything yet, but I'm still waiting. One day. One day. I'm going to hit the mother load. Yes. Yeah, safe search. And they're coming up with safe search on Poshmark, which will be awesome too. Hooray. Maybe they'll come up with scan forms next. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see people do that. Oh, like leave stuff behind because it's not in their niche? Yep. No, even Tommy. He's like the most niche down of all of us. He still will go surfing. You have to. I, I don't believe it. If you don't, you're running. It's a different business. If you do, that's fine. I'm not going to. If you only do sell one thing, that's fine. But I just don't feel like you're in the same game as we are then. True. You're in, you're <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Matt said Matt Posh will get scan forms when Mercari adds four by six labels. So oh. never. <laughs> okay. Why does Mercari have four by six labels? <clears throat> we start a you know, petition.org. <laughs> yeah, change.org. <laughs> <laughs> we, we keep sending them to <laughs> Oh man. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys All have right. a good night. Everybody have, have an awesome, weekend. awesome weekend. And uh, we'll see you back here Monday.